welcome to today's tutorial on today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make on today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this beautifully drafted and crafted and some kimono dress from the very scratch my beginners class students made this outfit and um a lot of people have requested for the basic pattern on how to create this so if you want to learn how to create this video keep watching this video to the very end so meanwhile my name is Iberi Chikikwe Umona and I'm the new director of Erin's Academy of Fashion, a fashion outfit based in Inubu, southeastern Nigeria so if you're new to my channel like this video and subscribe to my channel so first off the first thing we're going to need is our pattern paper and our measuring tape so when you have your pattern paper you're going to have your basic body measurements for your gowns you have your shoulder measurements you have your sleeve length measurements you have your round sleeve measurements you have your high waist measurements you have your round hip measurements just have your basic body measurements nothing no hard and fast rule it's basically not a very fitted outfit so from the upper edge of the pattern paper i'm going to treat the uppermost edge as the neckline of the of the pattern so from the upper edge you measure three inches only i'm not really interested in the high waist line so i'm just going to go ahead to measure the full length line and then the hemline the hemline will align with the edge of the pattern paper because i don't really want it to be very long so the length depends on you you can do something that stops on the knee before the knee after the knee whatever it is you choose is totally and absolutely up to you so you just rule your lines it's not necessary that you have to use a pattern paper for this but most times in my story i was i use pattern papers to make it clearer for you to understand and um it's a lot easier marking on pattern paper than marking directly on fabric so you can mark directly on your fabric just do exactly what i'm doing on pattern paper on fabric and you're good to go so for my neck width i'm going to be using a neck width of 2.5 inches then i'm going to draw the neck of the front and the back together so for the back neck depth i'm going to be using a neck depth of one inch then a neck width of 2.5 inches so for the neck depth of the front i don't want it to be too deep i don't want it to be too high so it doesn't start choking maybe i could just use three inches three and a half or four inches for the first layer then for the next layer i'll just go ahead and increase it So I eventually went ahead to use 3.5 inches because I didn't want it to choke. So I just used 3.5 inches. Then the other depth that looks like a V. So looking clearly at the image, the video I posted, you would see something that looks as if it's a V. It's really not a V cut. It's actually a straight cut. After sewing it, it turns out to look like a V neck. So we just mark out that depth so that we know that we're going to make extensions on that particular area so here we're just going to do a little mathematics shoulder measurements divided by two plus sleeve length measurements so assuming our shoulder measurement was seven and we had a sleeve length of seven we're going to be having a total of 14. now mark that on your three inch line which is your shoulder line and connect it to the neck width you see it's actually very easy if you're able to follow these videos from the very scratch you see that they are very very easy so we're going to do yet another mathematics and that mathematics is to divide the biggest measurements by four if your bust is your biggest measurements divide it by four if your hip is your biggest measurements you divide it by four whichever one you're working with just make sure that you're working with your biggest measurements and it's going to turn out just fine so i had to divide my round hip by four and add 0 0.5 inches or one inch is then 0 0.5 inch sewing allowance let's take that again round hip divided by four plus ease of 0 0.5 inches or ease of one inch plus 0 0.5 inch sewing allowance so assuming i have a round hip of 40 i'll do 40 divided by 4 to give me 10 10 plus 0 0.5 inch that's 10.5 
plus another 0 0.5 a total of 11 so you have to mark whatever your result is from your center front so the size of your ease is going to depend on how big you want the kimono to be the last one i showed you the ease that was added was just half inch so she didn't want it to be too loose so she had to add an ease of half inch you can do one inch you can do 1.5 depending on how big you are and how fitted you know big outfits look on you so you just go ahead and do that so when you just mark it along the entire length of the fabric entire length of the pattern paper so when you mark it um you can just leave some space for the round sleeve so we'll do yet another mathematics round sleeve divided by two plus one inch is because we don't want our sleeve to be too tight then plus one inch to an allowance you use half inch to join the shoulder and use half inch to join the armhole area so you just mark it just drag the line down like i just did connect to the old uh, calculation we did and you can see what we have here okay so so uh, you so now that we have done this you can go ahead and measure one inch from the outside from the outer part of the sleeve measure one inch connect your measuring tape to that one inch marking and shade it off because it's not going to be a part of your measurements anymore you're not going to use it for anything so after shading it off you can now you can you can now draw your armhole curve you can use your french curve to do it you can use your free hand to do it i'm already used to using free hand so that's why i'm able to just mark it off like that so you see as i'm talking to you now the basic pattern for your kimono is ready so if you want to learn how to create those designs that we do in front of our kimonos how to couple the kimono to the very end like with all the final finishings and everything packaging for ready to wear and all that you can enroll for my ankara art course currently priced at five thousand so if you want to learn how we do our dart manipulation with different colors and all that you can still enroll for that course at five thousand that's a dart manipulation master course so i had to come down for the depth of the pocket i had to come down by 18 inches and i used the wideness of about 18 inches for the opening of the pocket so from the neckline i had to come down by 18 inches so i'm doing the pocket extension i had to i wanted to do it together i didn't want to start cutting the pocket separately i just wanted to cut it together with the kimono so you can just see the extension so the depth really depends on you the opening of the pocket depends on how wide the person's sleeve is how wide the person's hand is so that's our pocket and we're going to cut four of that two for the front and then two for the back so basically we're done with this particular course thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe see you in the next